That thing on your neck, that's some kind of magic ward, isn't it? Yeah, it's sealing something away. His manhood. Something. Um. What's up? When you said seal just now, Your Radiance, you were talking about the Shining Dragon, weren't you? Don't just blurt that out. He's a dragon slayer, you dumbass. Yeah. My mom gave me this to keep him sort of locked down in there. She said he's dangerous. I see. Perhaps that's why I've been unable to commune with him directly. Something wrong back there? No, sir. Nothing. If you say so. But this sealed power of yours, I'd think carefully on its nature. I'd likewise think on the seal's architect. What might have gone through her minds when she created it, hmm? Well, were you eavesdropping? And besides, what- Wait, wait. Back up. You're talking like you... knew my mom. Hmm. This should be far enough. We ought to be safe now. Sonia, Rina, are you two all right? Still dead. I don't think I can move around much, but the haze is starting to clear a little. Oh, dizzy. No one cares. Sonia is recovering. Rina should be well again if she just rests. We really ought to get them help as soon as we can. If we could just get back to town... You know what? I just want to join up the enemies now. Extella seems like she knows what she's doing. And she's actually competent. Stop. There should be no interruptions here. And now, boy, it's your turn. Huh? What are you talking about? Please kill him. The Shining Dragon. Bring him out. Wh How dare you make demands of his radiance! Get out of my way! Oh no! Jericho. I'm okay. You'll be less than okay if you interfere again. If you don't want to get hurt, stay back. Stop this! Mm -hmm. Don't even think about touching them! Childish flailing. You shouldn't try to move while you're recovering. Now, break the seal and summon the dragon. <laughs> what, what should, should I, do? I do? There's no way I can beat him. Why do you hesitate? <laughs> hmm. So that's how you open it. Quite the contrivance she's put together. I knew she was schooned, but even so. So you did know my mom? We've met. But where? Please! Enough of your mother. Now we talk about the Shining Dragon. Why he's with you instead of her, I can't fathom. But I'll have my answers soon enough. Release him, now. Or else, I'll just have to coax him out myself. He's so fast! Watch where you're swinging that thing, genus. Oh. Agnum. Oh, hey, Kirika. Fancy bumping into you. What's this guy's problem, huh? I should hope I don't have to tell you. Please, Agnum, protect his radiance. His radiance? Oh, so this is the guy? Out of my way, Agnum. I'm not here for you. Only the dragon. Yeah, nah, I can't let you do that. I'm not taking another step as long as you've got that sword in your hands, you hear me? You? Very well. I'll cut you down, then return my attentions to the Shining Dragon. Come. Oh, you wanna go, huh? Alright, I've got time for a round or two.
The man whose music burns like wildfire. You know who it is, babe? I'm Agnum Bulletheart, the Pyro Maestro. Wasn't for that name, he'd be actually cool. It's like Bullet Hurt. What kind of edge lord is this? Get a load of these beats and try not to get burned, kids. Uh huh. So he's an all rounder.
down. And she gets nothing. Come on, Genus. Let's just call it a day. If we keep this up, one of us is gonna get hurt for real. <laughs> As you like. Well, hold on. I didn't think you'd actually agree to that. Why the sudden change of heart? Never you mind. His life was never my objective here anyway. Even if you hadn't happened by, it's not as though I was going to kill him. Maybe if he could see past his own cowardice, I wouldn't have to resort to such dramatics to lure out the dragon. Oh! <sighs> but if you dragoneers are so intent on keeping the whelp under your wings, so be it. There might still be time. Yes. I can already hear the strains of the last song. The last song? The hell are you talking about? Farewell. Hey, hold up! And he's gone. Well, that was... a thing. Hey, kid. You okay? I'm okay. Uh... Agnum. I'm one of Astoria's Dragoneers. Same as Kirika and Rena. I'm Yuma. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you bet. Crazy coincidence, though. Contracts from town started drying up, so I figured I'd swing by here, help map the frontier out. Didn't even enter my mind that guy would be skulking around here, too. <laughs> Color me surprised. Honestly, who does that genus think he is? How dare he even lay a finger on his radiance? Yuma, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Can you move? Yeah. I can put my weight on my feet a little. Sorry I'm not being much help. You're fine. If anyone's apologizing, it should be me. I didn't do anything. Just stood there in shock. It's okay, really. Don't hold yourself responsible. I said I'd help you out. But I've just been dragging you down every step of the way. Yuma. Yo, maybe postpone the pity party until something actually bad happens. <laughs> Nobody's dead. Nobody got hurt. That's a good day for us. But... We'll talk about your dilemmas more after we hit town, okay? Uh, okay. Which one are you again? Gay bulg? Heard some guy took you out with one swing. That is so. A terrifying opponent to engage. But I endure. Was he that strong then? Of course. I am Draco Machina. Dragon kind. For a human to damage me, let alone surpass me, is... <laughs> wow. Surpass, huh? Sounds like you've got it all wrong. Wrong. Explain this word. You speak, but I do not comprehend. Just saying. Doesn't have to be about that guy's strength. Maybe. Maybe it's you, Makina, who don't have the power. 
Are you trying to rile me to violence? Huh? Oh, nah. No fun to be had there. Just thinking out loud. Ah, I'm no good with words. And it'd be a pain to walk you through it. Just here. Let me show you. Interesting. Looks like you're all fixed up now, aren't ya? By my lady Excella's grace. Now, what do you wish to show me, mortal? <laughs> Let me make it easy. Not only will I put you down like he did, but I promise it'll only take me oh. one strike. I want those weapons. <laughs> see, you see now. See just how weak you are. <laughs> Oh, still conscious? I guess I can be a little impressed by that. But it still pisses me off! Just die, won't you? Cease at once! What are you doing? <sighs> oh, the princess. Gabold, are you alright? Yes. Somehow. To lay low, Gabold. Your captain said you had a measure of power, but he surprised me even so. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I underestimated the big guy, that's all. Guess he's still a dragon at the end of the day. You present a mystery, human. No man, save the dragon slayer, should be able to wound this shell. Dragon slayer, huh? I mean, look, I hit you with all I had, yeah? So, if this dragon slayer of yours can hit me even harder than that, he's gotta be a match for me, right? <laughs> You've gotta understand, there's never been anyone like that. I've checked. So this dragon slayer... <laughs> I'm getting pretty psyched to meet this guy. I like the villains more than I like the main characters. He's fucking badass, but psychotic. <laughs> well, Gyor did warn me that one would be hard to tame. But perhaps a lighter touch is called for. Pointed in the right direction, this man may yet prove useful. I see. That must have been a harrowing experience. Eh, you know, they made it out okay. I'm fine too. But Father, the real issue here is what the Imperial Princess could be up to. Agreed. Ever since Princess Axella arrived, Imperial activity has been on the rise. Mark my words, some foul wind is blowing in. Before this, all they were interested in was fortifying the holdings they already had. We'll be in real trouble if they decide to mount an offensive, you realize. They win the numbers game if they bring everything they have to bear. Do respect, Majesty. Maybe it's time we tap the knights for this. Send them out to the front. I won't risk losing you or yours, Burroughs. Manpower, supplies, information, we don't have enough of any of them. And until we do, the knightly orders are too valuable to throw at a problem so blindly. That's my stance. You know that better than anyone, old friend. Understood. I'll have my boys stick to their guard post for now. Good. The royal order we should keep in reserve. And as for the Wellentine order, the Elven Knights are tied up maintaining the front lines. 
We need an alternative. What I propose is a strike team comprised of the Dragoneers and the Shining Dragon. We'll be counting on you as the backbone of that unit, Yuma. Yes, sir. Counting on me, huh? What can I even really do? When Genus attacked me, I froze up. Tapping into the dragon's power was the last thing on my mind. Can I trust myself to handle that pressure again? A thought occurred. Sonya is a princess. Wouldn't she have like a guest rooms at a palace? Why do I have to stay at a fucking inn? Now I'm curious. Yes. Where the fuck's Daisy?
Oh shit. Hey, Yuma, can we talk for a quick minute? What's up, uh, Sir Agnum? Just Agnum, please. And I've got a question for you, that's all. Listen, man, it feels like every time I see you, you're trudging around with the weight of the world on your shoulders. You okay? No, he's whipped. Huh? I, I appreciate that you're worried, but... Look, if you don't want to open up to some guy you just met, I get it, but the offer's on the table, okay? Bottling that stuff up ain't healthy. Not healthy, huh? I... I guess I can try. And you'll listen? Of course. Lay it on my ears, man. I've just been... thinking. About what happened with Genus, I mean. Everyone scrambled to protect me, right? Rina, Sonia... They tried to keep me safe so I could call on the dragon and bail them out. And I just... couldn't. It was all I could do to stay on my feet. I squandered the chance they bit and clawed to give me. Uh-huh. Look, that guy's kind of a monster. And you're not exactly a soldier. It happens. He seemed like he meant it when he said he didn't want to hurt them, but... If he had, I don't think I could have saved them. And knowing that, I... You're torn up about missing your shot. Yeah. I get how that feels. But think about it. You've got the real live shining dragon inside you, right? The divine lord of all drake kind or whatever. Isn't that a good thing? No, you don't understand. That's exactly why I'm afraid of him. When I hold even just a bit of his power, it feels like I'm damming up the rest. Like it's ready to burst and drown everyone around me if I mess up. Hmm. Guess it's true what they say about power and responsibility. No wonder you're so anxious about calling out to him, though. Like, if losing control of his power is that big a danger. Well, only one thing for it. We can figure this out together, you and me. Really? What is it? Practice, man. You gotta stay in the game if you want to get good. Practice? That's right. I bet it's like any skill, you know? 
Find some place quiet and just jam it out until it's all second nature. Seems logical that the more time you spend practicing with Big Shiny, the less you'll risk losing the reins when you need him in a crisis. Is that how it works? Ah, shut it. You're not gonna know until you try, right? I'm liking this guy. Even though he's the typical bro. No, it's just... I've never even thought about how I'd go about, uh... training with him. Well, now seems like a pretty good time to start, I'd say. Come on, at least give it a shot. Uh, okay. Come hit me up during my patrol tomorrow. We can get started then, probably. And seriously, don't worry about it, okay? If you really do go berserk, I'll be there to knock some sense back into you. <laughs> uh, all right. An Agnum? Thanks. Eh, thank me when I've done something worth thanking. Maybe once we see some results, yeah? <laughs> so that's Agnum, huh? I hadn't figured him for that type at all. A little overbearing, maybe, but he seems like a good guy. Maybe practice won't be so bad. Huh? What's that sound? Sounds like Kirika singing. Listening to her is so soothing. Yuma, let us speak, you and I, for I have questions. You were faced with strength, yet you cling to fear. You're a disgrace, Yuma. You mean, when I face Genus? Yes. That a mortal man could amass such power and go unnoticed is... rare. Yeah. It felt like he was on a higher plane, you know? Like I never stood a chance. Correct. As you are now, to cross blades with him again would be your undoing. Exactly. It's like, what can I do? A weakling like me just can't keep up with skills like that. So why try? Self-pity, boy. From where I'm roosting, you may just exceed him given time. What? Me? Right. Agnum said something like that too. That if I practice with you and him, then maybe... This thing will take time. But it is a necessary step. This is my counsel, should you desire it, Yuma. The world will try to make you compromise, to make you change who you are. I urge you to resist. But grow up, Yuma. Never change who you are, huh? That... Uh, are you sure about that? Because I thought getting stronger meant... Changing. Some souls find strength in weakness. Others, shown strength, become blind to their weaknesses instead. That... Uh, I hear you, but I... I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hmm. And so I am left to wonder. Just what does he seek? That he pursues the last song of all things.